What will you do? You who are trying to plan your existence and control your tomorrow. When you realize tomorrow controls you. What will you do when you awaken to the truth that you have allowed a tomorrow, a day that is not, to rob you from the present? What will you do when you realize that the wisdom that you use to plan your tomorrow, the wisdom you molded your life by, is simply an invisible prison for your mind? Will you dare to break free from the misery of this prison, from the foolishness that is this wisdom? Will you dare to just be? You see, the illusion of tomorrow brings with it a fear of the unknown, which causes those who are prey to it to plan and prepare in an attempt to feel secure. The problem is that tomorrow never comes. Every tomorrow has a tomorrow of its own. And those who are unaware of the moment, of this present reality, they spend their entire existence planning for a day that is not, instead of enjoying the day that is. And every time they feel to have caught up with tomorrow, it eludes them with the thoughts of what have not been accomplished, enjoyed, experienced, or the responsibility of that which is not. And why do they worry about a non-existent day? About what they will eat? About what they will wear? About where they will sleep? You see, it's only those who do not intimately know the I am reality, the I am consciousness, the I am or divine self that concern them with such trivial non -ex the trivial things of a non-existent tomorrow. They wear themselves out with the tedious work of paddling up river instead of enjoying a float trip on it. This is literally what I just shared with you, the exact same thing that Jesus said. He said, why, you can, why do you worry about what you will eat or what, what, where, where you will sleep or about what you will wear? He said, only the pagans or non-believers uh, or those that don't know what they are dwell on such things and yet our entire world dude our entire uh, existence depends on identity in the past projecting towards the future planning for the future preparing for a future event the whole time the wisdom of the sages the wisdom of mystics, the wisdom that I've been living my life by, that I awakened to uh, many, many, many years ago and I've been living my life by for a long time is this. Come here, let me tell you. This moment, this one right here, the one, the one we're having right now, this is all that's real. This moment, touch, your, touch yourself. Feel what's going on around you in the air. The bills that you have coming in aren't real. The, 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 the due dates that you have aren't real. They're not, they're not real like this moment is. It's not tangible. It's all existing in your mind. And you're creating it. But here's the secret. The secret that very few people ever tap into. And it's this. True conception only takes place in the here and the now. If you want to conceive of something, you want to bring forth something into the world, then it starts here and now. It's realized now as real, far before it ever is manifested, long before it ever manifests. In other words, it never. It might feel like it's manifesting tomorrow, but it's real now. And only when you grasp the present now can you truly conceive of something or bring something forth into your tomorrow. This is the reason why so many people are having a mixed bag. They're creating lots of things in their tomorrow, but it's a mixed bag. Uh, they're often sabotaging their own existence. And their tomorrow, this thing that they're planning and preparing for, is controlling them. And they get all caught up in worry and fear and what's going to happen instead of really just in sitting back, relaxing, and enjoying the moment they're in. So I want to encourage you right now. The very first step to living a creative life, an artistic life, to truly being a life artist, is learn how to be present in the here and the now. And it's my heart's desire to help you with that. I strongly encourage you to check out lifeartistry.co. Uh, the link is below. Check it out because it is all about helping you enjoy this moment. It's all about the steps to creating the life of your dreams. So I strongly encourage you to check that out. I love each and every single one of you. Remember, the more you awaken, 
the more you play.